Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking a look at the Ryzen Corvette, a ship that. What the? Hmm. A ship that has served me well over the last few years both in its Tier 5 and Tier 6 variants. There is a Tier 6 fleet variant, which is confusing. Very few ships actually do this. And most of them are, well... useless. The Ryzen Pilot Corvettes are, well last year's summer ship. Or at least I believe they were. I could be wrong. With all the summer ships, the, everything tends to blur, especially with the Ryzen ones. Anyway, this ship is their traditional escort. But it's a sp but it's a racing ship that's been converted for combat. So you could say it's a defiant without the armor, without the shields, and with improperly mounted guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we have the exact opposite problem. Where the Defiant was just overgunned, overpowered, and constantly trying to explode itself. This ship doesn't have the exploding problem. But it's not meant for combat. <laughs> At least, Cisco was trying to make a warship, even if it was trying to blow itself up. This... <laughs> <laughs> it's a raising ship design that's been retrofit for war. That never ends well. <coughs> but still, it's a fun ship if you like glass cannons. Though I'm a little fond of more tanky things. Still. Tier 5 and 6, it has served me well. I can... say nothing bad about it. Is it worth getting? You're gonna have to Phoenix box it nowadays. Unless you were lucky enough to do the event. House Go Gaming, signing off.